Number 56, calculate the molarity of each of the following solutions, and then we have letter A out of the bunch. Woohoo! So in this case, they gave us 293 grams of HCl, and this is all in 666 milliliters of solution. Ooh, spooky. And this is a concentrated amount of HCl. And HCl, right, we know HCl, we've seen this guy before. Maybe, right? HCl is hydrochloric acid, but this is a strong acid. Since they tell us that it's concentrated, I'm assuming that the molarity is going to be roughly a high number. If something is concentrated, the molarity should be a larger number. Basically on, this, on the positive, not the positive end, but greater than one, maybe even greater than five. But we'll see. Okay, so we got to find the molarity. What is the unit? Or not, what's the unit, but what's the formula for molarity? It's this guy, right? And I'll put this all the way in the upper uh, left-hand corner. Molarity equals the moles of a solute divided by the liters of solution. More simply, it's capital M, capital M for molarity, always equals moles divided by liters. So I'm just going to write that down here. Molarity equals moles divided by liters. Okay. Now, if we want to find out the molarity, I need to know both of these, right? I need to know how many moles I have, and I need to know how many liters I have. But did they give me any of these? No. They gave me a gram value, 293 grams, and they gave me 666 milliliters. So before I even use this formula, I have to convert into the units that I need. So for example, I need to take the 666 milliliters and I have to convert that into liters. Then I can use that number to plug it in on the bottom. Well, how do we convert mils to liters? Quick trick down here, guys, if you forgot, right? We learn these conversions in like the first couple of days of chem, right? They make you memorize these conversions. But if you need just a quick refresher, if you have milliliters and you want to go to liters, all you got to do is take that bill value and divide by a thousand, and then you'll get the liters. Similarly, you can find out where the decimal is, and you can go to the left three spots. So it doesn't really matter which one you do. We'll do 666 divided by 1,000, and that should come out 0 0.666 liters. Okay, so I know the bottom number. I know that this is going to be 0 0.666 liters. Now I just need to know what the moles are, right? And that comes from the other amount the 293 grams. Well, I have 293 grams of HCl, and I want to convert to the moles of HCl. Well, how do I do that? That's down here, guys, right? I have a mass, right? I have a gram value, and I want to go to moles, right? So I'm going this way. So all I got to do is I got to take that gram value and divide by the MW. MW is molecular weight, or molar mass, same thing, right? And remember, the molecular weight is on the periodic table. So on PT, we got to find that number. So before we even do this math, I have to find out what the molecular weight, or molar mass, of HCl is. We've done tons of problems like this, guys, right? We go to the periodic table, we write down what one hydrogen and what chlor and one chlorine is, right? So I'm going to go to my periodic table that I have, grab your periodic table, and let's just see what we get. We should get roughly the same number. So let's see. I did my hydrogen. I got one hydrogen and one chlorine. So roughly it should be 36.458, and that's in the units of gram per mole. A molecular weight or a molar mass is always grams per mole. And maybe that was a little bit, I'll just put the unit down here. Okay, I'm going to use this number and the molecular weight that I found out to find the moles. We take my grams, we divide by the molar weight to get the moles. You could also do dimensional analysis, but, you know, we're past that, right? We don't have to do dimensional analysis. We could do these trick ways. So I'm just going to take this, divide 
by the molecular weight, which was 36.458. And those units are grams per mole. And if we cancel out the grams, that's why we're only left with moles. So 293 divided by 36.458. Three sig figs. So we'll say roughly 8.04 moles of HCl. And now I know what the top number is, right? That was the whole thing. We had to convert to get the top number. Now I can finally find my molarity. So I'll write it over here. Capital M equals moles over liters. I have my mole that I just found out, 8.04 moles divided by the liters, 0 0.666 liters. And let's just do the math. Molarity equals 8.04 divided by 0.666. Uh, three sig figs here, so 12.1. Yikes, that is super concentrated. A 12 molarity solution. Yeah, that's pretty concentrated. Make sure that, you know, if you see that in your chemistry lab, make sure that it does not get on your skin because it will burn. Um... Units of this is either capital M for molarity, or since these units do not cancel, it would be mole per liter. That's the unit for molarity. And you are done. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Pretty simple. Just got to convert the two units, plug it into the formula, wham, bam, and that's it. So guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments if it did. And if it did, press the like button as well, right? Tell your friends. Uh, tell your classmates and subscribe if you want. I really do appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing me by how hard you guys have been working. Let's keep going and I'll see you all in the next question. Bye-bye.